Hello guys, I'm Christopher from CMM with a, another tutorial about the Xiaomi Mi 6 and after I showed you how to unlock the Xiaomi Mi 6 bootloader the last time, now I will show you how to flash TWRP onto the phone and install a translated um, a MIUI firmware. So let's get right into it. So below the video you find a couple of download links. Open them all and you will get to the following pages. This clockwork mod page which offers universal ADB drivers which we need. Tap on the download button to download them and then proceed to the next link and this will bring you to the XDA developers forum. And in this topic you scroll down until you see um, um, this download link here, download version 1.4.2 in this case. So click it and this will redirect you to Android file host and here you download the file with the green button. And after it finished looking for mirrors you choose one, click on it and the download will start right away. So let's just close those tabs to clean up. And then we have two more tabs. Those belong um, to the Xiaomi.eu project, which is dedicated to, to translate the official Xiaomi MIUI ROMs um, into multiple languages, remove the Chinese bloatware and add the Google Play services. So there are two links, one, for, one to download um, the custom ROM and one to download the TWRP image. And for the TWRP image, you need to know the code name of the Xiaomi Mi 6, which is Saget. It's this one. So in, in the list, you just need to scroll down a bit until you find the Saget entry, and then click on it. And it's the same procedure as before. Click on begin download, it looks for mirrors. Select one and download the file. And once you finish this, you are doing the same here in the next one, which is for the um, custom ROM and here you pick of course the multi-ROM um, for the Mi 6 and again click on it and start the download. So I have now downloaded all the files except for the custom ROM which is still loading um, and for the tutorial I moved them into a separate folder to have a clean view. You of course don't need to do that. So before we're gonna flash um, we need to prepare. So what you want to do is to install the minimal um, ADB fastboot and the universal ADB driver and we're gonna start with the universal ADB driver, simply double tap on it, click on next and next again and next again and then it will start to install the drivers you need. And after the driver installation has finished, you can click on close and then move on to the minimal ADB and fastboot setup. Oh, I hit the wrong icon there. There we go. And then it's the same procedure again. Just go through the setup wizard with next, accept the agreement, click on next and next and next. And yes, we create a desktop icon and install. And that's it, we don't need to launch it right now. And what you wanna do next is to unzip this um, TWRP image, which is in a zip file, of course. Let's just extract this. And there we go. So what you wanna do next is to prepare your Xiaomi Mi 6 and its USB Type-C cable. Put the Xiaomi Mi 6 into fast boot mode as we have done it for unlocking the bootloader already. So hold down the volume down button and then press the power button and keep both pressed until the Mi 2 appears on the screen, which is the case now. And then we plug it into the computer. It recognized the phone now. And then we open up the minimal ADB and fastboot which we just installed. And then we have a little command line here. And now it's pretty simple. Let's just check if the device is recognized by typing fastboot devices. And as you can see, our phone is listed here. 
So next we can type fast boot flash recovery and hit the spacebar once after this and then just drag the image file from the folder into the command line. Come on, there we go. And after this, you have the file path in your command line and then you hit enter. And now it flashed the custom recovery. Now to boot into TWRP, um, you need to hold the volume up button and just type into the command line first boot reboot. Make sure to um, keep the volume up button pressed and then hit enter. And now the phone will reboot and hopefully it will start right into TWRP. So there we go, now it starts TWRP. And as you can see, this is a nice um, touch user interface in English language, which is fairly easy to use. And next we want to move the Xiaomi.eu firmware file, which we previously downloaded, onto the internal memory to flash it. And to do this, um, just make sure that under mount um, MTP is enabled. If it's disabled, this button will say enable MTP, press it. If it says disable, uh, disable MTP, don't press it. And also make sure that data is ticked here so we can move data onto the phone. This is for mounting the data partition. So to actually move the firmware file um, from the computer onto the phone, we need to open the phone, go to your PC, and then you will here see the MTP USB device. Open it up. And then you will see internal storage and this is the storage of your Xiaomi Mi 6. And to copy a file on there, let's just open it up. And then you will see some folders which um, you can ignore. And then um, it's probably best to open up another explorer window to keep things um, nice and clean here. There we go. Um, downloads. Um, okay, my ROM file is still downloading, but you um, just do um, copy and then go back to your phone and here you hit paste. I'm not go going to do this now because as you can see my download hasn't finished yet. I will do this once download has finished. So finally my download has finished. I was having some internet hiccups there. So I'm going to show you again how to copy the file just to make sure you do it right. So here's the firmware file, xiaomi.eu multi me 6 and then the version number. Right click on it, copy, switch over to the phone's memory and then right click and paste and wait until it's copied over. Alright guys, I just had some issues copying the ROM file over into the internal memory and I figured out what the issue was, so just in case um, you can't copy the file onto the phone as well, um, do the following, go back to the main menu, there you hit wipe and here you click on advanced wipe and there you hit the data partition and do a wipe, just swipe to wipe it and uh, then you can go back to the main menu and retry um, copying the firmware file onto the device again and as you can see it has worked now for me. So once the firmware file is onto the phone's storage, um, just detach the phone from your computer and then hit the install button. And here you will see the firmware file which you just copied on the phone. So tab it and then it will ask you to install it and to confirm installation just click on um, uh, just swipe this little thing here to the right side and it will start flashing right away which might take a few minutes so here we go flashing has finished now um, I've got some error message here I am not sure if this was successful but we will see it in a minute just click on reboot system and swipe again and now we will see if it's booting 
this has worked and if it's not booting it hasn't worked. I'm doing this for the first time on the Xiaomi Mi 6 actually. It's a little different for each and every Xiaomi device so please bear with me. Um, it seems like it was successful. It is definitely booting. So let's see if it starts up. And indeed it did work, so you can safely ignore this little error message that you might see after installing the custom ROM. As you can see it booted up and started the setup process. And as you can see we have a translated MIUI now with all the international languages being available, including my language German. Great! So that's it for this tutorial. As you can see it's pretty simple and works well so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye